What's going on, Knuckleheads? GKM Gaming here with another LEGO Legacies Unbox video for you. And today I bring a very special guest, Greedos. Hey, hey, so, how you doing, man? <laughs> pleasure to have you on the channel. We just did a video over on your channel. I'm pretty excited about. I am too, man. It was yeah. pretty good. Had some good good content over there. Excited for what you got to talk about on your channel here too as well. Yeah, so I'm just going to get right into what we're talking about today. Uh, we're going to be talking about what you free-to-play players can do to kind of keep up with the pay-to-play players and to keep up with the current meta. And I feel like a lot of free-to-play players are just like, there's nothing I can do about it. This game is terrible. It's pay-to-win. Which, I mean, that's probably all true. But, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. And I think there is some things that uh, free-to-play players can do. And I think one of them... It, is to start getting ahead. So obviously you can't just pick up the game and be like, I'm gonna go free to play and I'm gonna be number one in arena. It's not gonna work that way. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you can definitely work towards it. I do think that you can build a completely free to play team that you can compete with and you could probably get to number one with. I think you can get a strong enough free to play team. Yeah, I agree with that. It just, it, you have to build your, uh, it's, like, it's like building a chair. You gotta build one leg at a time so that you can build the base, and you can finally sit down on it, and you can build your table, and then you can build everything else. It's like, it's there's stepping stones to it. Yeah, I think the key is though, like, obviously, if you're gonna be free to play, don't be like, all right, I better start farming up pirates now, because by the time you get your pirates farmed up, it's gonna be too late. And I think it goes the same with either Ninjago, or Castle, or Spooky, or whatever the next meta is. Don't worry about that. Try to figure out what that next meta is and what's going to counter it and start building towards that. Mm -hmm. And also, look at the master events that are coming up. Uh, because we just had the master Wu master event. So that was a big hint that pirates was going to be the meta because you needed pirates to get it. And now Ninjago is probably going to be taking over that meta spot. So I think they even confirmed now the next master event is going to be uh, Primo. Yeah, I hope Primo comes back because... Um... I've been wanting to use him in a city team for quite a while, along with the new firefighter set. I think that would be like a really good free-to-play team for uh, people to use. Yeah, and when when they put out Yorick yesterday, it said in the uh, the Yorick pack uh, will help with the Primo event. Oh, I did so not even see that. <laughs> probably, probably only a couple months away. Uh, I think when Scarlet came out, what it was like two months later, we got the Master Wu event. Oh wow. Okay, so we're shooting for like somewhere in. Uh, August pretty much is when we should get Primo. It'll probably be, it'll probably be right after the Basil event because they, you know, they have the unbox for Yorick, and then they'll do the Basil event, and then those castle spooky units will be quote unquote helping you to get Primo. But from what I heard about the Primo event, if you just have a five star castle team, just a regular castle team, you can pretty much get through it. Yeah, um, unless like they up the difficulty because I know that they made things a lot more difficult from when. Uh, the, the Primo event came around the first time. I'm hoping that it's not. I'm hoping that's not it. either. I'm, I I'm, want to get the, the Primo screw. Yeah. I'm quite ready for it, though. If it comes around, like, I got my, uh, I got at least a full five-star team. Um, one being, uh, two of them being at, what, seven-star? Got my just at five and everything. Yeah, so you're good to go. I'm good to go. Say, um, a free-to-play player... Maybe I'm a level 50 free-to-play player, and I've been grinding it out for a while, and I'm pretty sure there's free-to-play level 50s out there. And I want to be able to compete in Arena. Obviously, I can't do it right now. Greedos, what is your advice for me as a free-to-play player? What should I start farming today to get ready for months down the line to be relevant in Arena? Um, so I think Ninjago is going to be the thing that you're going to want to farm, just because there's going to be a lot more... Ninjago IP stuff coming out uh, with Garmin on that. We talked about that a bit. Um, and with the Garma Army faction, I think that might be something as well that is going to work well with the Ninjago faction. I feel like there's going to be some uh, key characters that'll go in between each faction and work. Um, but also, I mentioned on my uh, on one of my videos that I did a while ago um, that City is going to be coming up in the future as a team that you're going to be wanting to farm on. Um, and it's because of the new set that we can finally farm the fire station. And it's going to be a very good set, even for doing raids, I, I believe. And I think that 
City might be the way to go for a lot of people because Jago is great, but if I'm a person who I never farmed up my pirates and I didn't get Master Wu and I'm not going to be able to farm them up. I don't want to farm them up to get Master Like It's a big trek to get Master Wu. And that might be six months down the line before he's even back available again. I do yeah. kind of agree with you. I think City is... You can farm a really good City team, and there's some really good units out there that I feel like you kind of have to target. And then hopefully they get something new or a little bit of a, a rework with some units. Knock it on wood. I do think, but like... I think great. I think if you're a new player, you should farm your pirates still, just because there's a gold crunch in this game. And... The pirates are really good for that with the pirate event per week you get you can get up to like 2.1 million gold per week which is really good um and they're just a solid team but if you're looking for a meta team i think city is where it's at there's gonna be some new characters probably added to city because like we haven't had any new characters added to city in i can't remember when primo was the new like he, he's not even a new character he's been in the game since the beginning so city's probably gonna get an influx of some new uh some new uh, minifigures in this game for sure okay so if i'm looking to build a city team can i farm right now that i could that i'm going to need for that meta team when it uh, comes around um okay so for your meta team you're going to want firefighter ash she's like the biggest key player because there's this whole courage uh buff that works around with her and it's like what the whole team is based around and she's the one that can do a lot of damage based on that. So she's available in the arena store. You can get Firefighter Ash, and she's a very good character. She actually works really well in a castle team as well, uh, which is what you'll need to be able to get um, Officer Primo. So you need castle characters. Um, you can get Street Sweeper Sal. He's another. He's a really good tank. Um, okay. He's farmable in the uh, mashup. There's two really cheap mashup nodes for six and eight energy. So he's very easy to get up and running um and then you have aurora and aurora i think is the the main one that you need as well because she is your healer and she also has a revive which is going to be very key for working with the fire station set and bringing your guys back to life i love firefighter ash and aurora and sal all i'm really looking forward to primo i like a lot of the stuff that he does i think that with Primo's ultimate, it's going to be something that could potentially even kind of counter Ninjago. Mm -hmm. uh, it kind of cancels out the stealth and the taunts and everything. I think that Diddy could actually be the only counter to Ninjago. Now, what do you think about running some of the collectible units that synergize with City, like Hiker and like Demolition <laughs> Dummy? I think Demolition Dummy is an amazing tank that brings a lot of good DPS with his like mini nuke and Hiker. Getting that extra 10% heal on city units, he's just giving a great AoE heal. Mm -hmm. um, I think Demolition Demi is going to be the one that I'd want to run, just because um, with the Fire Station, you're going to be getting this uh, the second skill whenever you get... I forget what it says, but I think it's like whenever you get hit and get a debuff or something like that, you gain a, a stack of Courage. I'm not sure. Let me just check it out. you resist a debuff. If you resist a debuff, okay. So if you resist a debuff, you get a stack of Courage. And a lot of characters... Um, have no way of dispelling those stacks of courage and you can't have them dispelled by other characters as well um so having like a demolition dummy per se with five stacks of courage and he uses aoe he's gonna be doing 50 percent less damage to himself That's which insane. is really good off the bat uh he also gets defense up too so he's gonna be taking less damage from that as well um and he's also a tank so double he's... double tanking with sal yeah he's throwing it back and forth and sal his heal is amazing. Yeah. Self heal is like amazing. Yeah, he, he's going to be very good. Uh, and uh, When I made the firefighter video, I didn't even look at uh, Demolition Dummy, to be honest. I was just looking at the, the city characters, but I would definitely take out Crook Chuck that I said I would have originally, and I'd throw in Demolition Dummy. Yeah, because you don't need the city tag to really synergize with that set. No, you don't. It helps have the role model tag, but I mean, let's be honest, nobody's running Paramedic Poppy. No one's going to be doing that. <laughs> Not a single person. <laughs> For me, the hardest thing is, all right, what five do I want to run on my quote-unquote city team? And it's like, yes, I think Primo is going to be a cornerstone, or I think you could still have a good team without Primo. Mm, you could, but I... I Primo is the key to that team. Uh, he's like the Master Ru for the Ninjago, pretty much. 
Uh, the fact that he I... removes a ton of pep, he removes taunts, he removes stealth, uh, he inflicts uh, disarmed, and he inflicts vulnerable as well. So he's like a master Wu in his own sense as well. And I think that he's straight. He's like the anti Wu. He's the <clears throat> counter to Master Wu and Lloyd. Yeah. Because he strips all those things, and then you could just okay, their pep is reduced. Let's target the threats. Let's get Master Wu off the field. Let's get Kai off the field while we can. Yeah, and he's just really good as well because he spams defense up on your city heroes. Uh, he gives attack up to everyone, and he can get prepared as well. This is very good. Um, he clears taunts from other heroes and gives courage stacks to everyone. He gives speed up. He gives a ton of really juicy stuff. Uh, Primo is... He's Primo. <laughs> and he's another taunter. And he's going to synergize with the fire station because of the role model tag. Yeah, exactly. You're going to be at least running two room. role models. You're going to have like that role model tag on your firefighter Ash and on your, um, your Primo. So you're going to be getting some sort of synergy with that. So I'm thinking the team to go with is Primo, or Ash, Aurora, Sal, Demolition Dummy. Yeah. And um, I feel like maybe if you want some AOE heal instead of single target, you can get Hiker in there. I feel like Aurora's Revive is too important to not have. Yeah, you need to have Aurora's Revive because of the fourth skill on a Firefighter Station. So when a hero is defeated, two random city heroes or role model heroes can increase their stats based off of the defeated hero's roll and stacks of courage. So say like Demolition Dummy's taken out. Well, if he has five stacks of courage, which he will because he can't get rid of the stacks of courage, he's going to be giving 3% per stack. So that's 15% uh, bonus defense to two characters. And this can stack indefinitely. If for support, it's you increase speed for attack. You increase it uh, by 15%. It's really, really good. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I didn't even just like through this conversation, I'm starting to really realize, as I know we were talking about before we did the video, I think City is going to be the counter to Ninjago because I don't think that the spooky, magical castle is going to be able to really take on Ninjago because the DPS is too much. But yeah. This has a lot of counters your ninjago team especially with primo and he's i don't think he's gonna be like master Wu hard to get no i don't think so either i think as well this uh the fire station is gonna counter the spooky meta as well um because the spooky meta is gonna have to rely on disarm it's gonna have to rely on uh fear a lot um and with the third skill of the fire station it says whenever a hero with at least one stack of courage attacks that means uses the basic we have a chance to clear two to three debuffs off another random city hero so um that's just it's like self-cleansing you don't have to even like use a skill just okay. a basic attack I'm surprised they didn't make fear counter courage stacks somehow yeah uh, that would that would be funny actually <laughs> would, have, would have made a lot more sense i didn't like what they did with the fear debuff it didn't make sense to me like fear just makes their attack go down yeah well it makes sense that courage should be like a counter for it, it should be a counter for fear what do you think that makes sense to me i think they should but yeah i guess courage counters fear not the other way around yeah <laughs> I, I take back what i said i'm glad they didn't do that <laughs> oh man i'm wondering like what other city units they're gonna bring into the game oh man um any options i i don't know my lego hair my, i don't know my character is too versed um but it'd be cool if they brought in like a whole I know I've been talking about it for a while, but Lego Lego Island, that'd be cool. That'd be like well, that was its own game. little, that was a good game. That was an awesome game. Played Le Lego Island 1 and 2 as a kid. And it makes sense they very, they brought it in as like a city sub faction because they are in a, they are kind of a city. And you have That's like all those characters. I wouldn't mind like a race car driver. Yeah. Uh... Maybe like an ambulance that. guy or something like that. No, no, that's paramedic Poppy. Yeah. Never mind. She's awful though, so we could just we could take her out of the game. Oh, like anybody would care? What about like the the guy that works at the gas station? It's got like the it's almost like a yin and yang sign. It's like a classic Lego Lego set. Oh, it's um, like their their octane. Sign. Octane, yeah, their octane sign. The octane guy. That'd be cool if they brought it's that in. Close the stuff up. Yeah. And I, it's crazy. somehow. It leads me to believe that they will bring Lego Islands into the game someday because they have Chef. And Chef in the game makes reference to Pepper, which is a Lego Island character. So 
I mean, this right here we're looking at Chef. That's that's Papa right there. Yeah, I so do he's, love Chef. He's the first one. You got to think maybe they'll rework Minor Clay and Volcano Iggy. Hopefully. And Paramedic Poppy. I don't understand how you could put a paramedic in the game. It doesn't even have just a basic heal. Use her her AOE heal, which is terrible. And oh it's yeah, what does it do here? Out. How much is it at the max? Five percent of Poppy's max health. A thirty percent chance to reassemble a defeated hero for twenty percent of their health. Yeah, it'd be better if they changed her thing. Right now, it's just one hero that re reassembles. If it could like reassemble multiple heroes, that'd be good. It'd be cool. Or if patch up just instead of giving heal over time, healed. Yeah, the heal over time thing is stupid. My paramedic. Over time's like a nice added bonus. I don't want to have a whole skill that just does heal over time. Yeah, it just kind of defeats the purpose. Like, just give me a heal. <laughs> I don't know what other role models they could put in. Like, we have a cop, we have a firefighter, we have a paramedic. Who else is a role model, really? Um. Hmm. <laughs> don't have like Lego army men. No, they don't. They don't have Lego army men. I don't think here. Let's see. Ugh. I don't know. Maybe like a. Maybe someone that like works some sort of machinery. Oh, maybe like a lifeguard. I don't. They have lifeguard oh, guys. Lifeguard would be cool. That'd be pretty cool. I have the surfer guy in the collectibles too, but you know, they're a collectible unit. Yeah, there you go. Have a guy in a jet ski or something like that. <laughs> I'm low key salty that some of these collectible units don't have city tags, and I get it, they weren't in city sets. I understand it. Yeah, Yuppie should be part of the city faction, I think, though. Like... Yuppie, hiker, demolition dummy, uh, fitness instructor. Like literally one of his things is like a building, a high rise building, and he's driving a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or whatever that is. He should be part of the city faction, I think. This instructor is actually not a bad option if you're running a city team either. Yeah, she's pretty good. She's like just an all around good character to plug in any or, team. He's another one of those highwaymen where like I hate her so much I refuse to farm her. What, fitness instructor? I, I hate her. <laughs> I have her, Holy but game. I never use her. Early game was the most annoying unit I ever had. I remember when she was annoying back in the day when people used to run her. But I don't see many people running Fitness Instructor anymore. Yeah, she got a uh, power creeped out. Yeah, she did. Well, I bet as a free-to-play player, if you farm her up, you could still get a lot of use out of her. Yeah, she's a really good character to focus on if you want free-to-play value because she gives attack up, crit up. Uh, she's got a nice heal. Um, gives max health. Gives defense up to people. It's really solid, and her stats aren't that bad either. Yeah, good, good middle of the road character. What do you think about a non-city free-to-play team? Like, if you were, could give someone mm. a little more advice of like big-time units that are gonna take a, they'll t maybe take a while to farm. But what do you think could be a good non-city free-to-play team to play right now? Um. Well, at the beginning of the game when I started, it wasn't really like you didn't want to run a faction, so it was like. Get as many of the best units as you can and clump them together into a team but now it feels like since there's a lot more synergy in the game you need to have at least three characters that belong to a faction in a team and then you have you can add like two random other characters from whatever you want into a team so if i was to do something like that say like you have your gobosto so go go burnabas magisto and plus two others um the other ones that i'd say is like you could have um valiant redbeard bart if you don't have uh, Scarlet, so those three would be really good as well. Um, another really good one to run as well um, would be Lloyd. Uh, where is it? Lloyd, 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 Lloyd. Um, I, forget what, I forget who I was going to put it with it. Lloyd and Gogo, -Go, those two. Those two are really good together as well. Really good combo. Yeah, yeah. when I did a video on it, I said uh, Busto and then Highwayman and Yuppie. Yeah, those two are good. I even run Yuppie in like a pirate squad because of the mass assist gives so a lot of good. debuffs. A really great unit he is. Yeah, Yuppie, some like really good free to play characters. Yuppie, Highwayman, they're just gonna be great. They they give a lot of versatility to the team, a lot of damage. Uh, they give you a chance to compete. Um, 
Pixel guys are really good. I think Ash. Yeah, I was about to I'm, say Ash. Not a full city team, but I think Ash is an amazing unit. She's one of the first units I started farming up because I recognized how good she was right away. And a another character though, if you uh, it's like oh, kind of a, a mishmash character. I've seen you do the Aurora Ice Glider and then put four other randoms together. Uh, and that could be pretty good because you got the constant revives. Uh, so yeah, like Aurora, Aurora uh, Ice Glider, some um, some pirates are like, I even throw like Aurora, Ice Glider, uh, Yuppie, running the two revives together is very, very annoying. And then yeah, run like two heavy tanks or, and then a, uh, and then a, uh, a good damage dealer. So like Aurora, um, Go Go, Yuppie, Highway Man, and like Lloyd or something like that. Or even Locust. That is annoying. I like Locust actually. I do too. He's he's really good. He he can counter a meta. It's easy to farm. Hey, he's really easy to farm. He's got a great ultimate, inflicts disarm, attack down, and all that sort of stuff. Uh he can buff your team up as well. He's a great plug and play character if you want to add a nice juicy damage boost. Yeah. So I feel like if you have patience, you can actually just be as good as any pay to play player and free to play. Yeah. It's just about. You just need to have the roster in order to play around with. That's the thing. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm a little luckier. I put a little bit of money in and I got my Buccaneers and I could pretty much get whatever I need from the game to farm everything else up that I need. So, I can afford to take a meta off, so to speak. Yeah. And still be able to compete with what I have. I feel like if you have the Buccaneers right now, if you're a player that does have Buccaneers, um, you should be good for at least another meta just right now. But if you don't have your Buccaneers and you're building them up for the next meta, I think you should seriously look at something else just because I don't think they will last that long. Yeah, I think what you if you're a buck if you're in the Buccaneers right now, you don't want to build Ninjago or Spooky Castle or whatever, uh, just start building City. It's all free to play. And as well, like if you uh, if if you're building your your castle in order to get city, build up your castle still because Magisto's tower is really good uh, as well. So Magisto's tower with your Gogo -Go, Burnabus and uh, Magisto would be really good. You could still just run a straight up King's Court team. Yeah, you could. Nothing wrong with it, especially now with Magisto's tower. Like they're viable again. They're viable. Yep. And they never yeah. stop being viable, but they're more viable. There's gonna be like quite a few teams there's gonna be like what your ninjagos there's gonna be your spooky there's gonna be your uh your king's court magister's tower there's gonna be your um king's court with uh magical with uh yeah magical um there's gonna be city with fire station so that's like at least five teams right there and, and that's what i want to see i want to see a meta where there's not just the same team over and over again yeah that's what we've seen so far it's it was castle and it's pirates. Oh man, I really, at least with like the pirate meta, you could beat them with castle and other things. But like that castle meta was just cancer. That was just pure cancer. Was having a real hard time. That was. <laughs> I hated that part of the game. Oh, I hated it so much. Rough. Yeah, that was so rough. <laughs> I don't mind it now because like now I'm starting to see more Ninjago stuff pop up. Uh, but that's that's harder because Ninjago definitely can handle castle pretty well or, or pirates pretty well so it's tough to play pirates against Ninjago. yeah i actually just um i just fought a team in the arena um what was it here uh it was a, a woo team so woo redbeard valiant bart and scarlet and i beat it with my uh my pirate no i beat it with my ninjagos with a level one dojo showdown and imagine if you had a full full five dojo showdown all maxed out yeah so it's it's possible it's lots of stuff that you can do and the thing that you people have to realize with this game is everything takes so long to farm up uh you just have to be patient like i don't even have my forbidden island maxed out like i have it five stars and i'm still trying to max out the skills like it's just going to take a while so there's just a crunch in this game especially for free to play players so just be patient and Eventually, you'll catch up, and I think if you can get one meta team, you'll be able to compete in the top 100 at least. Yeah, I, I definitely... I don't have my Forbidden Island maxed out either. I got the, the last skill on it maxed out. Um, the, the set that... I mean, the event that really helped me out was Jay. 
stuff like that where they can let you buy like tier three set tools and all that sort of jazz that'll help players I put all my energy and just bought jay tiles because i was going free to play with him so mm. yeah he he's definitely a character that is very very solid he's a plug and play it was a great event and they probably made a ton of money off people bring up all the ninjago units from that event store yep to make yeah. lloyd you can get lloyd tiles but it's not an easy farm no he is not an easy farm i like that they made some of the characters that weren't easy farms a lot easier so i'm hoping they do that something with uh the willa event where they release willa in the event store make her easy to farm at least for a week and i'm telling you they're gonna make so much money if they do that yeah they will make a ton of money if they do that that would be a smart business decision would have made kept Yorick good then would have been having a different conversation about spooky right now but i'm glad that they decided to change willow though um because her ultimate used to be like a huge mass heal and they took that away so that's kind of nice because she that was pretty overpowered <laughs> especially with the amount of heals that the spooky team has now they're still really good and her reviving of basil is yeah but she, her plug and play viability isn't as big now, which is great. I'm happy about that because if everyone gets it, I don't want to be going against a huge will on every team. <laughs> yeah, I like that. It's like she's meant to be played with Azul and, uh, you know, either Spooky or Castle. And, you know, I like the synergies. I like the theme teams. I was never a big mix and match plug and play kind of guy. You know, what drew me to the game was just like, oh, I could play a pirate team. I could play a castle team. I could play ninjago team and that they do so well together mm -hmm. uh, but i feel like the collectibles are meant to be plug and play i feel like i'd like to see some collectible synergy down the line too i'd like to see some collectible sets come out yeah thing is they don't actually have sets because they're just like you buy them in packs well they did like they had the lego house that was made for collectible units yeah, they did that for them i want to see uh, something that's like the equivalent of Raft Raiders for like collectibles. I want to see something like a Forbidden Island, like a tier two set for uh, collectibles. I'd like to see a like a Ferris wheel or some sort of like carnival set that they've done and they do it for all the uh, costumes. Yeah, that'd be cool. Sort of costume synergy. Cause I know there's other, there's three costumes in the game right now. I know that they have a couple more in mind. I forget what they are though. One of them's a corn cob guy. I know that. Okay. The fact that I could play a guy named Corn Cop Guy is... <laughs> yeah, he's, pretty, he's pretty cool looking, I must say. You know, they might buff up and rework the three that are in there now. Yeah, who knows? I mean, like, they definitely need work. Definitely. Chicken like, Suit Guy just needs a buff, you know? Chicken Suit Guy, Hot Dog Guy. <laughs> Who's the last guy? Cactus Girl. What's that? Cactus oh, ca girl. Cactus Girl? Yeah, that's right. You know what? Cactus Girl used to be one of the best characters in the game in the very beginning, but she got nerfed to Bolivian, so. What did they nerf on her? Um, so her damage, first off, she was a little too wacky. Um, and then they nerfed her damage over time again. So. Still a decent unit. Uh, still a decent unit. Fun. I'd like to see like costume synergy. I wanted to see more synergies in the game and more stuff that works in the meta. Yeah, I agree with you on that. Challenge for game love. Give us teams that... Well, it's more than one team that's going to be viable. I just think we that's need more characters in the game. Because, like, what do we got? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 45. We got, like, maybe 45 characters roughly we can play with. 45 plus a bit more. So we just need more. Yeah, especially for space. Yeah. So that's that's another video we'll talk about space yeah that's another video in all of itself <laughs> space needs a whole like week-long series yeah space needs a lot of love i think that's wrong with space why major katowski never have been in the game oh man okay uh question someone was telling me yesterday that they think that commander or they think uh major katowski is better than commander cold what do you think i think that person Probably should go see a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Perfect answer, dude. Perfect answer. <laughs> uh, only get Kartovsky 
the master store. I am never gonna spend master tiles on this unit. Are you kidding me? Yeah, no way. Like yeah, one of his very cool EMP bomb. That's it. That's yeah, all I like about. Cool EMP bomb. I think that does thirty five percent damage. <laughs> <laughs> Clear stealth. So that's cool. Thirty five percent damage. Like, come on. That's no, like he's not. tickling someone pretty much. Yeah, that's a 2300 attack. He does have a quite nice attack stat. Just no skills that really work well with it at all. It needs a rework. Yeah. Big time. I mean, you know, space is getting new. Do a space video one day. Major Kotovsky, he becomes top tier. Him and Kelvin. Jeez. I'm not, I'm not getting touching that right I'm now. Not touching that. <laughs> touching that. All right, let's get this thing wrapped up here. So that's all I got for you today, Knuckleheads. I want to thank Greedos for coming on to the channel. My doing pleasure. These two part videos with me. No worries. Uh, please, please remember to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, that little bell for some notifications. And as always, remember to knuckle up. She blocked me on Instagram. Snapchat, I don't give a damn about that. I can see your face, still feel the same. I don't feel the need to forget.